Dr. Pat with Little Critters Veterinary Hospital, and we have Beardy with us today, and Beardy has a problem. He is not opening his eyes, and he has some discharge in the eyes and a retained head in both of his eyes. He also has had some respiratory distress with some labored breathing and some plugged nostrils, and as you can see, if you look at his pelvis here, he is pretty thin, and he's very lethargic and very weak. We have a lot going on with Beardy today. The intention here is to clean and flush the eyes out and remove this debris as well as his nose. And differential diagnoses for these, retained head is often due to husbandry issues. So it's really important that we have the correct husbandry for bearded dragons. And that really means the appropriate temperature gradient from the cool to the warm side. Soaking them during a shed so that we don't retain the shed is very important. I do recommend a weekly multivitamin that has vitamin A and vitamin D in it. And then daily to every other day calcium with the insects. And then a good diet, which should include gut-loaded insects like crickets and roaches and green ruminants. We also don't want to put any substrate in the bottom of the cage with Beardy because they do tend to lick everything and touch everything with their tongue and can get impassioned from ingesting that material. You can see he's trying to puff up and look threatening right now, but he's so skinny, he's not terribly infected down here. And he's breathing a little heavier with compassion for now. He has periodontal disease. So if you look, you can see calculus all around his gum line here. And he's got it on both sides. And this is very common in bearded dragons. And we do a lot of dental cleaning on beardies that start to develop this. This goes down to the bone and can cause a bone infection, which can lead to secondary respiratory problems because these are um, brewing the bacteria and the calculus. We have a lot of things to work on with Beardy, so we'll get started on him now and give you a follow-up.